Hey everyone, my name is Jasmine, and I would like for you to join me on my Dreamweaver Indian Hair Wet and Wavy Journey. So if you have any questions on how to get it straight, how to get it curly, how to wash it, how to dry it, just overall maintenance one-on-one, be sure to let me know. Feel free to ask me anything about the Indian hair. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, what I have here is loose Deep Dreamweaver Indian Hair by Model Model, and this is a P1B30. So I have some one, one B and uh, thirty highlights in it, which is really pretty. I'm gonna take it out the pack. So I have a twelve inch. This is a twelve inch, and then I also have a fourteen inch. I'm going to show you. So we have a 14 inch, which says it right here. So what I will be doing is sewing this hair in, you guys. Ooh, that's going to be so pretty. I'm going to sew this hair in. And the style is loose deep. So this is what she looks like straightened, and this is what she looks like after you activate the curls. Now, this hair is processed, so... If you have sensitive skin, just be sure to wash it before you actually uh, sew it in. So that's what I'm going to do. I just took it off the pack, and I'm actually going to leave it on this. Um, I'm going to leave it on this wrapped in the bundle, just so it's easy for me to wash it. So the products that I will be using today are. Pantene Pro V Curls, the shampoo, and the conditioner. Now this is also made to moisturize your hair and define all curls. And you know when you wet the hair up, it automatically has a curl texture to it. So, what I'm going to do is, I already braided my hair. I'm actually on my way to class, so I'm going to wash this. And I'm going to let it air dry. So, let's go ahead and do that. Now, just taking a little bit. Now, if we take a little bit of the shampoo, I'm going to go ahead and just wet the hair. Just go ahead and wet it. So this is completely wet as you can see and I'm just going to wring out that water. Next what I'm going to do is take some of the shampoo and put a few drops. About a quarter size worth of shampoo. And I'm going to take the shampoo and you can see how it's already, it's already starting to curl and I didn't put anything on it. So I'm going to take the shampoo and just run it through, just like that. And look you guys, it's already starting to activate. The curl is already starting to activate, which is excellent. So go ahead and wash it out. And just run your fingers through it. Massage it just like that. And look. But we're just going to wash it out, just in case. And then at this point, you can see how the hair actually, uh, you can see how the hair works. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and wash this out. And I'm just going to run my water right through it. Be sure to don't get the weft wet. You just want to make sure that you are just getting the hair and not the wet. So just run your fingers through it. Slowly just, when you put your hands through the water, just go ahead and run the water out like that. Just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the conditioner the same way. And be sure when you wash the conditioner conditioner out, 
just make sure that you don't wash all of it out. It's okay to leave a little bit of conditioner just so that the hair can have some moisture. Now, at this point, I would just cut the, the camera off, Paul. so I'm back and this is what the hair looks like after I put the conditioner and the shampoo in it and also be sure to make sure that the water does not get into the wefts here just focus on the hair not the weft okay and also one thing perfect activator the perfect curl activator for this hair is water and the perfect curl activator for this hair is water because if you use too much product on the hair product some products have alcohol in it so that can cause the hair to dry out and it can lose its form so this is actually good this is a good um, product you can use it's designated for curls when you wash and shampoo but that's it you don't need to put anything else really don't need to put much on uh, product on the hair because that could affect the flow and the texture of your hair now what I'm going to do is, drain this out just a little bit, so pretty, let this air dry, wash before you put it in, let it air dry, right now I'm going to get ready and go to class by the time I come back from my busy day, um, it should be dry, so I'm going to go ahead and um, come back to you guys and I'll show you what it looks like when I get ready to sew it in. So I hope these tips were helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, what's up, YouTube? I'm back. I just got out of class, and it's been about two hours. Yes, and I'm going to actually show you um, how the hair is turning out. So I have it on my rack in my bathroom, and just let it drip dry. It's still a bit damp. I didn't do anything to it and you can already see just the texture of it is already curling which is awesome so just be sure to let it dry let it drip dry let it hang be sure to let it hang and after that's completely dry completely air dry it when it's completely air dry then that's when we're going to apply it so stay tuned